Oh man, look at that thing. It's doing really well. It's currently at 200 and almost 30. Almost 230 millimeters tall. And uh, if I can get it to go here, there we go. Look at that. It looks really, really, really good. This is actually acrylic. So I've managed to finally get it to print on an acrylic sheet. Anyway, that's not what this video is about. Hopefully it finishes though. This video is actually about that magnet wire. So let's go have a look. All right, let's talk about this wire. So this is some crazy stuff. My buddy and I, Haxar, we went to Apex Electronics. So if you've never seen what Apex Electronics is, let me show you. All right, so here's what Apex Electronics looks like. This place is just crazy. It's just nuts. So this is the wire section. Shaky footage a little bit. Here's the, uh, here's the magnet wire section. So we're in this section. And uh, this, by the way, is like one of the world's biggest um, supply houses for all this kind of stuff. They have all kinds of stuff. I, I highly recommend going to Apex Electronics website, actually, and uh, just look at some of the uh, look at some of the store photos. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Anyway, back to the wire. So we got this wire. And my buddy's like, hey, you want that? And I'm like, kind of, but I don't really want to spend any money on it. So I grabbed it anyway. We brought it up to the counter, and he couldn't weigh it. And he just said, take it. Because it's so I said, how do you do that? Do you do that by the spool weight, the copper weight? He says, the copper weight. And, and he says, he, he can't even measure it. So I said, okay. And he just gave it to me. And I was like, freaking sweet. So I started looking into this. Look at this. It's 56 AWG and S poly which is the type of coating it has on it. It's from August 1990 or 1981 I mean is what it looks like and it says 1.7 grams. Um, so I started looking at this stuff and after a while a 56 AWG that's pretty small so I went you know and I looked online and here's what I found. Alright so I got online and I found a couple manufacturers who make this stuff and apparently this company only makes it down to 55 AWG and it specifies right here that sizes 45 through 55 AWG are calculated from DC resistance. Uh, Cooper wire here seems to make 56 AWG. It's 1,380,000 feet per pound. And look at this. The gauge size 45 through 56 all dimensions are theoretical. That's just crazy. I mean, that's just bonkers right there that they have to, they, and the other company specifies they measure it by DC resistance, but that is freaking nuts. So I went to look for some, and I did find some. So one spool of this stuff, that's right, cost $2,037. $2,000, what the heck? So coming down here to look at things, it is 0 0.156 of a pound. That's 200,075, yeah, 750 feet. Two, two, 200,750 feet per 0 0.156 of a pound. And that's approximates, of course. That's just crazy. Just crazy talk. So to put that into perspective, okay, I have this set for this amount of um, radius, which is half the amount for one pound. So if I had one pound of this wire, it would cover the distance from this edge of the circle, from this edge of the circle. So well beyond from Los, Los Angeles to Vegas, no problem. Let's see how big it is to Dallas. So if we look at Dallas on the map. Look at this. From edge to edge, anywhere in this area, from edge to edge, that's how many feet are on one pound. There's New York for you. That's just ridiculous. All right, so let's have a look at this wire. So first, I'm going to do a little comparison. Um, so this is my pulse motor build-off. 
that you guys know of. If not, go check this thing out. It's pretty sweet. And on the side here are wire that I found in my um, shop on, wrapped on some very small solenoid coils. So you can see the green one there. I think that's around a 36 and the other one is around a 40 or 42 possibly. So somewhere in those ranges. They're really hard to measure. But you can see how small they are. Alright, so for, for your viewing pleasure, it's really hard to see, but I have a piece of that wire, that 56 AWG, and I'm going to get it lined up right next to there so you can see it. So there's your comparison. You can see the different size of that wire out of my focal length there, apparently. Okay, it's actually really difficult to see, but you can see it in, I'm moving it right there. Look how much smaller it is. So to put that into perspective, let me lay it up against a hair. Okay, so there's the wire laying on a piece of paper. Now let me put the hair in the, in the shot. Okay, yes, I ripped that hair off the top of my head. I know, I should have picked the side. I'm already losing enough up there. Look at that. That's a human hair next to a 56 AWG coated magnet wire. That is nuts. Alright, so for your viewing pleasure, I put a piece in this micrometer. And it is very difficult actually to see, but it's in there. And this is what it measures, which is actually way smaller than what 56 AWG is supposed to measure. Um, so I don't know why that is. It's, you know, as small as it is, it's hard to measure. And it could have been smashed. And even that tiny bit, it could have been smashed. So it's hard to say, but there it is. So let's look closely at the spool. Now, you know, you can already see my problem. When I found it, it was like this. And I have no idea if I'm ever even going to be able to untangle this. But I wanted to at least show you what it looked like before I tried. Because if I do get this untangled and I find the end of the strand, I'm going to try to make another one of these, but with this. And it might take me 20 years. I don't know when I'll have the time, but that is one of my goals. Look at that stuff. Isn't that crazy? It's so small. I mean, it looks like a lot, but when you find just a single strand, like right there on my, in front of my finger, look how small it is. It's crazy. So anyway, that's all I wanted to really show you. I just thought that was pretty cool. This is, you know, basically some of the world's smallest magnet wire. One of the smallest ever produced. Uh, I did find another company that go all the way up to 58, but who knows if they actually have made, I'm sure they have made some, I guess. That's why they sell it, but yeah, we're still going to call this the world's smallest magnet wire and probably the world's most expensive. 0.156 or 165 of a pound, whichever one it was. $2,000! Anyway, let's get back to my print because it's still going. Well, there we are. 281 millimeters. Look at that thing. That's just freaking nuts. Let's see if I can get a close up of it running, We're putting a layer down. Anyway, hope you like the magnet wire. Acrylic. That's an interesting plastic. Try printing that on your printer. Tell me if it works. Look at that. I only printed one little layer of a raft, and that's it. All right. Peace and love. God bless. Have a good day. Bye. What's up? Okay. Thanks for watching that video. I recorded this in 4K with the camera that you guys bought, so thank you. So for those of you who have a 4K monitor, watch this video in 4K, let me know what you think about it. Um, I'm still learning how to work with this camera, but I want to know what you think. So anyway, thank you guys for uh, purchasing this camera, per 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 purchasing this camera and letting me use it. Yeah, that stuff right there, let's so I can find the zoom. That stuff's ridiculous. It's so small. All right, peace and love, bye. Don't forget to leave that comment, by the way. Wow. We've managed to make it past 300, and it finally started going silly.
I don't know why. Yet. But look at that. That is a 10 millimeter, yeah, 10 millimeter by 10 millimeter square with a little notch in it for a project. That's insane. I'm actually almost bottoming out the top side of my printer. That's a really small object for such a like tall, skinny little thing without breaking off the bed and without messing it up. But I guess I'll stop it. You can see how it's being pulled around. That's the problem. It's literally just the flex, though. Look at this thing. It's just the flex. It's not actually broke off the bed. That's pretty wild. That is nuts. Yes, it is actually hollow. I think we can focus through it. Look at that. Wow.